In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a high contrast grungy portrait with nothing but natural light. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers like you and me. Well, in today's episode, I have a very special friend. His name is Polo. Come on out here, Polo. This is Polo Arnaiz and he is from Madrid, Spain, which is where we are right now. Uh, and I met him because he is a world traveler like me and has been all over the place. You can follow him at Con Polo Acuestas. Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, and so what we need to do is Polo is gonna be doing some new trips and some public speaking and events, and he needs some really grungy, high contrast images for all of those events. And one of Polo's uh, signature items is his hair and his luscious beard. So everybody knows him around the world because of this crazy beard. And so I really want to make sure that stands out in these images. And so uh, Polo, if you'll go over to your space, <laughs> he's got a, your space over there <laughs> in your cage. So what we have here is a really simple lighting setup. Now you've seen me do this before, but there's a little bit of a twist. We are on Polo's uh, back patio and there's this really nice soft uh, shade that is really bringing us into nice shade. And we have open shade, meaning that we are right up against a lot of light coming in this way. Now what that is going to do for us is that it's going to give Polo some amazing specular highlights in his eyes. If we look at this from a different vantage point, you can see that the light is shining over the patio and reflecting off of the buildings on the other side of the street. You can also see that these buildings reflect different amounts of light and that they're different shapes and sizes. And so what that's going to do for us is that when we crank up the contrast in Lightroom and do our post-production, that's going to make his eyes very sparkly. And because he's wearing a black jacket, he's got this really dark beard with just a touch of gray, nothing wrong with that. And we'll crank that up and that's gonna make everything on his beard just sort of be really, really pronounced. Now, I wanna make this really focused on his eyes and his beard. And so to do that, I am shooting with my trusty 50 millimeter lens wide open at 1.4. Now that's gonna do two things for us. Number one, again, it's gonna make sure that the focus is on Polo's eyes. They're gonna be crystal clear and everything else is gonna sort of fall out of focus, specifically this background, this window back here. It's not our favorite background, but because it's out of focus and because it's also reflecting all the light and the images of the buildings across the street, it's gonna turn out to be pretty nice. So there you have it. Soft, open shade, specular highlights, awesome beard, cool background, 1.4 50 millimeter lens. Let's start shooting and we'll see what we get. Always give yourself options. So I'll shoot some horizontal and some vertical shots. So that way, depending on who is promoting Polo and his uh, rides, they have some options as well. Okay, Polo, we have our images, but what I need to do next is to throw those images into Lightroom, make them really grungy, so let's do that next. Now that we're in Lightroom, let me show you exactly my approach to editing each of these images. Now, these are the images that came right out of the camera. I'm gonna go through here and check these one by one to pick my winners. And once I've done that, I wanna make sure everything is edited in a consistent way. Now I've already decided that I'm going to do two versions, a color version and a black and white version. Now to save time, I've done some of the work in advance. So let's start with a color version because everything is based on this image and this develop process. So if I zip over into the develop module, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna do some color toning and change the clarity and the blacks, the midtones, the highlights, etc., to get that really high contrast look. Now, I've already done this, I've done my homework, so I've got this snapshot called Baseline Polo. So if I click that, you can see that I've toned this, so it's a really cool uh, tone. I did that by changing the color temperature. I've also changed my highlight shadows and whites, etc., to create the contrast that I want. And then I also cranked up the clarity to plus 20. That is a pretty significant jump for a portrait. And then last but not least, I took my saturation down to negative 17. And we can look in here and see that this is pretty punchy as is. But we need to, we need to take it one step farther. 
So to do that, I'm going to right click on this image and I'm going to say edit in Photoshop CC 2018. Now I'm doing that because I want to add some layers, some filters, and most notably, I want to work with the Nick software collection to really add punch to this image. Now that we're in Photoshop, we can start adding some magic. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this background so I can have a non-destructive image. I'm going to go into my filters and use the Nick software collection. Of course, it's one of my favorites, and I'm going to use Analog Effects Pro 2. Now, once again, I've already done my homework, so I've done some things to make this go very quickly in the video. And so I have created a custom camera. Now, this custom camera I have named Polo Grunge. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go down and choose Polo Grunge. Let me show you really quickly the settings that I have applied to uh, this image. So I did some basic adjustments some detail extraction at 56%. I changed the brightness, I changed the contrast, and then again, I took the saturation down just a little bit. I added a very mild lens vignette, and most importantly, I changed the film type to subtle, and then chose this first um, image in the second series here, so that gives it that toning. That's really what I want. The other thing I did is I changed the grain. So it's at 254 and I made this over to the hard side to give it that really grungy look. So if we zoom in to 100%, you can see I've added this artificial grain and that's really making Polo's eyes really nice and punchy. So I'm gonna click OK to bring this back into Photoshop, but there's one more thing that we need to do, and I think you've already guessed it if you've been watching any of my post-production videos, and that is to add a high-pass filter. That's just gonna over-sharpen this image and give Polo's beard, his eyes, and his hair that extra special sharp look. So now our image has loaded into Photoshop from Analog Effects Pro 2. And then what I'm going to do here is create another copy of this layer. I'll rename that to HPF for High Pass Filter. I'm going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Now I want to do this uh, a pretty um, a pretty strong filter. So I'm going to take this up to two pixels. That is way more than you would ever use on a standard portrait, but we're going for grunge. We're going for really high contrast. Once that's done, you need to take this and change the layer to an overlay layer. So that's the blending mode you'll use. Now check this out. Once we've done all of that, if I zoom into Polo's eyes at 100%, you can actually see the reflections of the buildings on the other side of the street, and that's me taking the picture. So let's step back in time. This is our image straight out of Lightroom. This is our Analog Effects Pro, the grunge and the grain, and this is the high pass filter giving that even more of a grungy look. So if I go back here, <laughs> sorry about that, but go back here and look at this uh, in a normal view, it is exactly what we want. So let me save that, and then we'll do the black and white version. Now that we're back in Lightroom, we can do a quick comparison. So this is our image that I toned in Lightroom, and then this is what it looks like after we did our analog effects uh, wizardry. So that looks really grungy and cool. But I think we can do even better. So what I've done is I've taken this original image here, this original color image, and I've created a black and white version of it in Lightroom. So what I've done over here is I created black and white by clicking black and white. And then I played just a little bit with the highlight shadows, whites and blacks, and with the clarity to give it a little bit more pop and contrast. We're gonna take that, and of course, we're gonna go edit this in Photoshop. Let's do that really quick. And we'll do the same thing that we did before. We'll go in, we'll take a copy of our background layer. I'm gonna go into filters, into the Nick collection, but this time we're going to be using Silver Effects Pro 2 because this is a black and white image, and Silver Effects Pro 2 is specifically for black and white images. And again, I did all of my homework in advance, and I have created a custom preset for Polo, and it is called Polo Gritty. And so this is way over the top, but I love it. So what I've done here is I've made some global adjustments, taking the uh, midtones up just a little bit, bumping up the contrast, really bumping up the structure that's giving us all of this uh, really, really fine control over the hair and his beard, making it look a little bit whiter than it actually is. Sorry, Polo. Um, and then 
Uh, that's pretty much all I'm doing here. The other thing that I, I have done, it's probably the most important, is I've changed the film type. So I'm using an Agfa APX 400. That's adding some of this grain to make it look more like a 1970s photo that was shot on film. And that's it. So I'm going to click OK, jump back into Photoshop, and then we're going to add one last touch. And the last touch is, as you guessed, we're going to copy this. We're going to rename it to High Pass Filter HPF. And we're going to do my favorite other High Pass Filter. Here it is. And again, we're going to really go over the top with this. This is at two pixels. You can play with this on your own images to see exactly what works best. We need to change the blending mode to overlay. And wow, this is crazy. So let's go in here at 100%, zoom into Polo's eyes. And we'll go back in time and see exactly what this looks like. This is the black and white image straight out of Lightroom. This is what we did in Silver Effects Pro. And that's with the high pass filter. It's over sharpened, but that's okay. That's what we want for this really grungy image. Now that we're done editing this image, we're going to do the same thing for all the other images. And then I'll show you the results. Thank you so much for helping me out. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you follow Polo on his website. We have all the links in the description of this video so you can see his travels around the world and his cool custom motorcycles and all that really awesome stuff that make his beard so awesome. So make sure you check that out. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to turn on the bell so you get notified when there's new videos. And of course, subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.